Hey guys, it's Jeremy from HowToHockey.com. In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you something that's pretty basic, but it's still a fundamental movement. So even if you guys are already like, I already know how to do that, well, just tune in and maybe I'll pick up a few tips. So I'm gonna be teaching you how to raise the puck. It's something you get a lot of requests for. It's actually pretty simple once you get it. So I'm gonna teach you a few simple steps and throw in a few tips for you guys that already know how to do it. Let's go. There's a few simple steps to lifting the puck and it's all about technique. You don't need a big fancy curve. So I'm using a pretty flat curve, it's a wooden stick. I'm going old school because I'm outside today just to prove that you don't need a big curve to lift the stick. All about technique. So the first thing that I see a lot of players doing wrong is no movement from this top hand. So see this top hand, the one that's on the top of the stick? You want to be able to roll that. You need some movement right there. So a big problem that I see is a lot of newer players, they're just sweeping the puck at the net. Looks like this. So this top hand is just planted. Barely any movement, right? You're just sweeping the puck, and there's two critical things they're doing wrong. So I'm gonna talk about the first one right now. So the first thing you wanna do is get this top hand involved. That's gonna allow you to lift the puck really easily. So you're gonna start cupping the puck. You always start cupping the puck because that means when you wanna release the puck, all you have to do is roll this top hand open, and then you can lift the puck and release it, all right? So as long as you have this top hand rolled over this way, you're gonna be cupping the puck and setting up the shot. Now right when you want to release, you open this top hand. That will help get the puck up on the stick. So watch what happens right here. Cupped, I'm just going to roll this top hand over, boom, flick the puck up. I'll show you from a little farther back. So cupping the puck, I'm going to roll this hand quickly to open the blade and then just push the puck towards the net. See? So I'm lifting the puck. Just a really quick wrist movement right here. The second step to raising the puck involves using the bottom hand. So you already know to use the top hand, roll it open, so you open the blade, right? Now you need a little bit of power. You need to roof that puck. So what you're gonna do in step number two is use the top hand to push down and the bottom hand to pull up. And that's gonna use a bit of a lever motion to get power and get a nice little snap. So you wanna do it all quickly in unison. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And if you do this properly, you can shelf the puck almost every time. Start with the blade closed on the puck. Roll that top hand, opens the blade, and then push and pull. Push, pull, a nice little snap motion. So I'll do a few. If you do it properly, you can roof the puck almost every time. That one I put over the net. So a nice little snap motion. Now you know how to lift the puck when you're in close. What happens when you're out right here and you try to lift the puck the same way? What's gonna happen is you're gonna send the puck way over the net. And the reason you're doing that is because you're leaving your blade open the whole time. So what you wanna do to keep the puck high, but still low enough to go in the net, is start by having the puck cup, then you open the blade, and then the follow through, you close the blade again to follow through. So that involves starting with the hand rolled over, then rolling it up, and then over again. So it starts closed, open, close. That's the motion you want to take when you're taking that shot. So start with it cupping the puck, closed, open the blade to lift the puck off the ice, and then close it again in the follow through to the point where you want the puck to go. And that'll keep the puck from going way over the net every time. So remember to follow through, and that'll keep, get the puck high, but not right over the net. Try to shelf it every time. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Hopefully those tips will help you raise the puck. If it doesn't, just keep on practicing. You'll get it after time. If you guys want more tips on shooting, skating, stick handling, anything to do with hockey, you can subscribe to my channel, and you can subscribe to howtohockey.com. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one.